It was a call Gary Brown was not expecting. Word from another surprised local historian this morning that the Beaumont Hamill Newfoundland Memorial was granted World Heritage status by UNESCO. Wow, I was just completely uh, moved by it uh, because it is so important. The Commonwealth War Graves Commission announced it on its website on Wednesday. 51 cemeteries and memorial sites on the former Western Front in France and Belgium. A total of 139 locations connected to the First World War are now on the World Heritage List. Iconic places of remembrance like Vimy Ridge, Menin Gate, the Brooding Soldier, and the Beaumont Hamill Newfoundland Memorial, site of a July 1st, 1916 battle that devastated the Royal Newfoundland Regiment. Only 68 of the 800 who went into battle answer the roll call the next day. A defining moment in history, a calamity that still haunts the province. I don't think there's any more sacred ground. The scarred landscape and trenches remain untouched beneath a bed of grass. An imposing caribou statue, the regiment's emblem, at the heart of this lasting tribute to those who served during the First World War. And a plaque inscribed with the names of 820 Newfoundlanders and Labradorians who died during the war and had no known grave. Beaumont Hamel is one of the most visited memorials in northern France, and now its iconic status is protected by the United Nations. It will bring renown and respect, more renown and more respect to the uh, Beaumont Hamel. Standing today in the shadow of a caribou statue at Bowering Park, a replica of the five monuments in France, Belgium, and a sixth in Turkey, these historians welcome the news. Anything that uh, is done to recognize the service and sacrifice of our soldiers uh, during the First World War and after uh, is very important. And of course, it's all about commemorating our dead so that we don't forget the atrocities of war. With that UNESCO heritage status, I mean, that is something else. That is the cream of the crop. That is so important. The Beaumont Hamel Memorial Site was unveiled in 1925. Supervised by this man, Thomas Nangle, the regiment's chaplain during the war. Brown co-authored a book about Nangle called The Soldier Priest. I guess as a Christian, I think he's up there looking down now quite proud, and uh, we are quite proud of him. World heritage status for Beaumont Hamill. It's a big deal, setting the stage for another important milestone next year, the 100th anniversary of the Newfoundland National War Memorial and the establishment of a tomb of the unknown soldier. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.